Hey there, movie fans! Get ready to test your knowledge of Napoleon Dynamite, the movie about a socially awkward teen who must navigate high school bullies, a wacky family, and his own awkward charms to make his mark on the world. In this quiz, we'll explore everything from plot details to iconic quotes, proving once and for all how much you know about this hilarious movie. All right, let's get started. In the opening scene, Napoleon is seen getting on the school bus. A kid asks him, what are you going to do today? What does he do on the way to school? Empties his bag out the window, yells fire, opens the back door, drags an action figure by a string. That's right, he drags an action figure by a string. An awkward dreamer, Napoleon doodles in his notebook during class. What's he drawing? Unicorns, dragons, penises, boobies. Yep, if you look closely, he's drawing some unicorns. Napoleon doesn't feel very good and calls his brother Kip to have Kip pick him up, but Kip refuses. What does Napoleon ask Kip to bring him instead? His chapstick, a doctor's note, a soda pop, another pair of jeans. He asks for chapstick. What fight moves do Napoleon and Kip use when fighting each other? Slapping, punching, scratching, hair pulling. Yeah, watch this, they're slapping each other. Deb is trying to sell keychains that she made. Napoleon says he already made an infinity of those at scout camp. What is she raising money for? Prom dress, college, a car, her cat's surgery. Yep, she's raising money for college. Your mom goes to college. Napoleon is tasked with feeding his grandma's pet while she's away. He tells the pet, Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. What is Tina? A pig, a llama, a goat, a cat. Yep, check this out, she's a llama. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Kip and Napoleon go to a free intro class at the Rex Kwon Do School. The teacher says no one would dare mess with him because of one thing. What is it? His star-spangled pants, his feather headdress, his weight-lifting wife, his cowboy boots. Did you remember it was his star-spangled pants? Do you think anybody wants a roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing these bad boys? Napoleon and classmates perform the Bette Midler song, The Rose. You know, some say love, it is a river. <laughs> what do the kids do during this song? Break dance, jump rope, interpretive sign language, sing the song. They do interpretive sign language. Pedro gives Napoleon the rest of his tater tots at lunch. Where does Napoleon stash his tots? In his juice box? In his sock, in his backpack, in his pocket. He stuffs those bad boys in his pocket and then eats them later in class. Uncle Rico is recording himself with a video camera on a tripod. What is he recording himself doing? Throwing a football, giving a sales pitch, knitting a scarf, something we can't mention. He's throwing a football. Napoleon wants to take Trisha to the dance, but he doesn't have any skills. Pedro tells Napoleon to give her a gift. What does Napoleon give Trisha? a bikini, a hairbrush, a cake, 
A drawn portrait. Oh man, he gives her a portrait and it is awful. <laughs> Uncle Rico recruits Kip to be part of his sales business. Where do they go for their quote, private business meeting? A strip club, Uncle Rico's van, a bowling alley, the mall food court. Did you remember that the two of them went to a bowling alley for their private business meeting? Please, be good to me. Please, keep going. Daddle, daddle. What is the free gift Uncle Rico says is included in the 24-piece set of plastic kitchen containers he's selling? A knife set, a model sailboat, a box of steaks, a velvet painting, Yep, it was a free model sailboat, and that lady really wanted it. Uncle Rico tells Napoleon to get a job. Where does Napoleon go to earn some money? The chicken farm, the gas station, dairy farm, diner. He goes and gets a job at the chicken farm. Trisha is forced to go with Napoleon to the dance by her mom. What does Napoleon show up at her house with to take her to the dance? A rented limo, Uncle Rico's van, a sparkling red hoopty, Napoleon's bicycle. He shows up with those Mexican guys in a sparkling red hoopty. That's my ride. Uncle Rico wants to go back to 1982 to relive his younger years, and he buys a time machine. What does the time machine need to work? A blood sample, crystals, an egg, a cigarette. Yep, it needed crystals. Summer is running for class president and Napoleon asks for one of her buttons. What does he do with it? Throws it down the hallway, pins it on his shirt, puts it in the trash, stomps on it. He takes that button and chucks it down the hallway. Pedro decides to run for class president too. What does he give classmates so they vote for him? Deb's keychains, slap bracelets, paper fortune tellers, Friendship bracelets. He gives them Deb's keychains. Students running for class president must give a speech. What else do they have to do? Something Pedro didn't know about. Perform a skit, make food, pay a fee, have a party. He had to perform a skit. No one expects Napoleon's dance on stage, and it goes on for almost an eternity. What do the students do when the music ends? Boo him off the stage, stand, clap, and cheer, throw paper balls at him, laugh at him. After like a minute of silence, everyone stands up and claps and cheers for Napoleon. It was epic. After the credits, we see Kip and LaFonda getting married. What does Kip do to show his love to his new wife? Sings a hip hop style song, tames a horse, does karate moves, performs a step dance. Kip sings. Oh, and it's awful. Let's take a listen. Sure, the World Wide Web is great. But you, you make me celebrate. Yes, I love technology, but not as much as you, you see. So how did you do? Get them all right? Tell me in the comments what you thought of this quiz, and then subscribe to be notified about new quizzes and other videos from For Film's Sake. Thanks for watching. Bye.